we're live. Do you want to come and say hi? Hi, everybody. I was watching the important news for a little bit. Oh, wait, Mia wants to say something. Hang on. Hey, guys. It's Annette Amy L here. Welcome back to our channel. We're live. <laughs> Someone's having a good time being home. All right. And I got so, a new kitchen. And you got a new kitchen. And, um... <clears throat> So what we're going to talk about today, hi Mama Mulaney, is a few things that are really important right now. Obviously like things are getting... Green juice. Green juice, yes. Things are getting very real. Meow. I love you. Okay. Um, things are getting very, very real. And um, I watched this really incredible FaceTime live from Hawaii today, um, from Ikaika Marzo, and he was talking about, they had the most incredible graphics and screens and understanding how quickly this spreads and why social distancing is so important. And um, I had a big eye-opening experience watching that. I mean, I've been taking it seriously and we've been home, <clears throat> but you know, and we're healthy, thank God, and I'm gonna share with you some of the stuff that we're doing. But yeah, it's kind of getting super real. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit concerned because even though my doctor is performing surgeries in Los Angeles, I may not be able to leave the state. And even if we leave the state, I may not be able to come back. So I'm a little bit, we'll talk about that in a minute, but I wanna share with you what I did this morning. This is kind of cool. I did some green juicing. I have to do, I'm gonna adjust. I'm sorry, this is gonna get wobbly for a minute. Okay, um, I make my own green juice, just um, my own celery juice. I have to have celery juice. I try to have it every morning. I try to fast. It's not always perfect because my husband brings me tea, um, but I needed to clear some space in my fridge and I had a ton of celery and cucumber and apples. And so I do, I'm gonna do my celery juice. It helps reduce inflammation. It really helps me with a lot of the pains and that I have in regards to, um, my hair is tripping me out right now, guys. Um, <clears throat> I have a lot of foot pain from a lot of my ailments, so um, it really helps with that. <clears throat> okay, now you guys are all gonna think I'm sick because I have this thing, but I'm not sick. One of the things I also do, um, Dr. Ron taught me this, is when you do apple juice, it cleanses your gallbladder. And right now I think it's really good to make sure that your adrenals are functioning to be able to release toxins as your body it cleanses and if your if your adrenals are backed up then there's nowhere for the toxins to go and my autoimmune disorders one of them doesn't allow me to really retain um nutrients and the other one doesn't allow me to detox toxins um so i kind of have a a cycle that goes on in my body and so even though i eat you know i eat normal we're, we're we eat healthy but i'm not like one of those people that really is has this really super super strict diet but um i do believe in cleansing and so the green juice really helps first thing in the morning i will be doing the apple juice to cleanse my gallbladder um, I found, um another spring. okay thanks for letting me know boo and then what i've done for my family is i have made them celery cucumber and apple juice i made Four of these oh sorry baby um you have to obviously shake them before you drink them since i don't have any meals i have to use you can use a toothpick and what i want to tell everybody i save all my jars and if you're saving your jars and you go to close them and um make sure they stay fresh you want to make sure that you're using something with a wax seal on the inside so that um, when you close them, they, they, it actually seals the jar and stays fresh. And this will last us two days, especially if Jazz comes, she will also have some green juice. Jazzy's been going between her dad's house and my house. We're about, um, maybe we're five miles apart from each other. So she kind of comes back and forth and she comes here. We have all the supplements, which I'm going to go over again because somebody asked me to. Um, so these are the things that we're doing. Now, for those of you, I'm going to show you something really super cool. We all just got this gifted a, a kitchen from yeah, some friends of ours. Yeah, and my soup. She's making soup. She's been real busy. 
Yes. Um, so I showed you these the other day. I just wanted to slow down a little bit and talk about vitamin C. Vitamin A is really good to coat the lungs. Um, and this is a respiratory um, virus, so you wanna make sure you're on that. I talked about elderberry and a friend of mine had talked to me about understanding that elderberry is really good to take as a preventative measure, but if you do get any type of respiratory infection, stop the elderberry and just focus on recovery measures. And then I wanted to show you all what I'm doing over here. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, this is a little easier. Yes, I'm obsessed with essential oils. If any of you want them, I can get them for you, but I don't actually work for the company anymore. But this is important. We've been doing On Guard protective soft gels, and we take these every other day. You don't want to really overdo it, but here's the ingredients. Whoa, slow down. Okay. And that's kind of important if you see exactly what we're taking to really, I mean, the black pepper alone is pretty incredible. Um, I have also been doing, I, I posted an article on CBG and how it fights superbugs. We take this in the morning, all of us, my kids, my husband, and then we do the calm at night, which has magnesium and all sorts of other goodness ashwagandha to help us sleep. Because and also make sure you have a lot of oranges. Lots of oranges. If you're not sleeping, then you're not in rest and repair. So you are not supporting your body to go into healing mode. And so that is in the nighttime formula, which I take, literally I have to take that right when I get in bed because it helps me sleep so much I pass out. And this is what we take twice a day. And um, it has the highest amount of CBG really than I believe any other product out there. And CBG is so important because it's an antimicrobial and it really helps with fighting infections. I know now I'm sounding really weird. We are also taking turmeric. These are dual chamber capsules. That really helps to fight inflammation. If we do get to a point where we need um, anything for respiratory, we have this respiratory blend in many different ways. I am taking extra iron because if I do get to have my surgery, I want my blood to be really strong. And she's choking on an orange. Now we're all kind of sounding weirdly sick. Um, we do these veggie caps and we fill them with DDR prime, which is essential for cellular complex. Um, and we're diffusing all day long. I can't believe. Yeah. So I thought that it's really important. Can you just stop coughing? Oh my gosh, we sound, she's not, you guys, this is terrible. <laughs> she's eating an orange and we're so healthy. Is it tart? You know, everybody's gonna watch this video and be like, oh my God. The Gano family's cray cray. Yeah, um, yeah, I just was choking. Yeah, you were just choking. So this morning, Bo made a big thing of porridge or oatmeal, whatever you decide to call it. Um, that's really helpful because he makes it and then um, in the morning I have it here and it's already made and then I don't have to deal with making it from um, scratch in the morning. It's already ready to go. And then for lunch today, I um, Bo took the tuna patties from last night and rice to work. I put it in one of these jars and I fill it to the rim so that he can, we again, we recycle a lot. We use these jars a lot. And um, here's the rice and I'm probably going to do fried rice today with, the, with veggies and a fried egg on top. And, um, and the other thing I really want to talk to you guys about is a butter keeper. All right, hang on a second. We've got butter. I, I should have got this out before we started chatting, but I don't know if you guys have ever seen a butter keeper. You guys, this is life's greatest gift if you do not like to have hard butter in the morning because I know a lot of us are taught to keep our stuff in the fridge. You put the butter, you mash it into this thing, and then you fill this about halfway or a quarter Carriage. with water and then you're gonna flip the butter upside down and it stays in there nice and soft oh boy hang on Mealy. she really wants you guys to see what she's doing here okay and I we use Kerrygold I like to use the pure Irish butter um, I think it's incredible to use stuff from other countries because they have a different um, organic and GMO factor. I mean, even when I travel and when I travel to Europe, 
or even Asia, it's so funny. I do not have reactions to certain things. This is what my soup is looking and like. And this is what her soup is looking like. Okay. I added salt and pepper. Thanks, Boo. We're trying to stay as active as possible right now. Her room is really messy, so we have a deal going. She's gonna go in her room every hour and pick up 10 items, um, much to her dismay, but that's what we're doing right now. So 10 items an hour, maybe by Friday the house will be clean. I think she's picking up like one tiny Lego at a time. Um, so I guess when I talk about BII, um, breast implant illness, and everything that's going on, I am, I'm working hard as though my surgery is going to happen. I'm acting like it's going to happen. I know that things are shifting very, very quickly. I saw this report today. It wasn't on the news. It was on um, Ikaika's thing about, you know, we are two weeks behind Italy. And um, if you look at the chart and the way that it's spiking, you have to actually look at the details. Um, there are some that like Singapore that plateau and they really got it under control and there's Italy that went straight up and China that went straight up and while America is not um, Neil I need you to give me five minutes you're being really rude right now so I just need you to give me five minutes okay um, if you look at the United States it is shifting in the upward trajectory unless we get a real hold on this and I just was watching a little bit of that press conference I can't watch too much of that stuff but it is important that our leaders are finally stepping up and talking about, you okay? The, um, the seriousness of where we're going with this. So um, one of the things that bothers me out there is there are a lot of people shaming and you don't need to shame anybody. You just need to talk with your friends directly. There's no need for social media shaming and talking to people rudely if, if they decide to go out. And, and, you know, it's really hard because everyone wants to like, not talk about certain things if they have to go to the grocery store or who's working and who's not working. But let's remember, you guys are all okay with grocery store people working or the bankers working, but you know, you're gonna judge somebody else who has to run out and go to the post office or um, you know, people who are working construction like my husband. Um, you, you can't judge each situation. Just recognize that people um, around you may have their own accountability. Maybe they're doing really smart things to boost their immune systems and washing their hands and, and keeping it super low, but don't go online and shame people because it's not, it's not nice. And um, there's enough of that going around in the world right now and we really need to come together as a community. I, um, that's why I wanna do this every single day. So I just wanted to share about that. And then lastly, hi everybody. Thank you for joining. Hi, Nikki. Um, Lastly, I want to talk about what's on the menu for tonight. Wait. What? Did you I, say something? Hang on. I am getting a... I guess. What? Bike. No. No, what? What? Well, okay, fine. Okay. I'm getting um, a hair tie bracelet set. Oh, yes. And a Plato set. Mommy's digging On deep Thursday. for patience. Okay, walk away. I love you. No. Um, no. So lastly, the menu for tonight. Uh, I wanted to do spaghetti bolognese because I have to admit that I make a really, really good spaghetti bolognese and I wanted you guys to see it. But we're going to save that for a snow day, which is either going to be tomorrow or Thursday because um, spaghetti is so good on a snow day. Um... And then, so tonight we're gonna to be doing bratwurst with, um, I'm gonna take those potatoes that I made the other day. Remember I was I did hash browns and prepped them. They're sitting in the fr fridge and wanna get eaten. So we're gonna do bratwurst with, um, I love arugula, so we're gonna do arugula parmesan salad with homemade salad dressing. That is the easiest salad dressing you will ever make in your life. It is so easy and so quick. Um, and we'll do arugula parmesan. I don't have any fennel unless Bo gets off and can stop by the grocery store and grab me quick fennel. I usually put fennel in there. My friend Chandra taught me that recipe. And then, um, yeah, we'll have hash browns on the side and Miel doesn't like bratwurst, so she, we have um, non-toxic hot dogs, you know, the good hot dogs. Oh my Lord. <laughs> you guys, welcome to my world. I haven't even started working yet because I've been busy juicing and this little monkey who needs so much attention. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so tonight we're gonna do that. I'll show you how I make that salad dressing. Um, 
and then it's evening walks at sunset guys get out get fresh air and um pray that i can have my surgery on 420 but i'm open i, I have no expectations so i can't get let down but i just pray it happens and um, if you're curious about what BII is, if you're just hearing for the first time, meow. Oh, Lord, girl. Um, if you're curious about breast implant illness and you're not sure what it is, you can Google it. You can go to the documentary website. It's called Occupation, oh my gosh. What's it called? OperationExplant.com. OperationExplant.com. I have not taken any supplements this morning except vitamin a i think because i'm trying to drink my celery juice before i take anything so i'm a little loopy and but i'm then... gonna work out <laughs> <laughs> i'm using the headband as a workout band. yeah just... all right well listen i feel like we should get going that was probably long enough um yeah and the fun so much and the for weirdest, watching the weirdest one ever the weirdest one ever um that was only because you made it a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. I'm gonna um, show you guys tonight because the butter wasn't quite melted. So I'll show you guys tonight what the butter keeper looks like once this melts a little bit more. And I put it inside there and we'll do one at um, dinner time. All right, Sh uh, share the love, spread the love, keep things positive, be super, super smart. Spray your hands, wash your face, do everything that you need to do. Take your supplements to boost your immune system. That's the best thing you could do. And I, honestly, for me, I, I know it's shower every dang day because if you want out, it could be on you and you could bring it in the house. Rinse your body and it rinses energy. Oh, and what I did this morning, huh, Miel? I saged the whole house. Um, just opened up all the windows and the doors and I lit some sage and I walked around. I went into every corner and I said a prayer to bless us and bless his home and get rid of any negative energy and let's bring in the goodness. So keep it rolling guys. Message me if you have any questions and see you this afternoon for dinner. Okay. Bye.